And so Basha, tell me the story of this rug. Well, she walked into Basha's shop uh, in 1981. Somebody brought it into the store, and as he opened it, he draped it down his waist. I felt like a person in it was going to come and squeeze me from its strength. You can just see the design is like a human body and a mighty. So it was mighty enough to to make me drive anywhere between 80 to 100,000 miles a year looking for her relatives. It has a, it has a, it has a description here on the top there and right here it says in Persian language, Qayal ibn Abbas, that this whole thing is a thought of the son of Abbas. And Abbas is a very big name in, in Shia orientation in Iran. So she was the first one to appear. And then all other things kept showing up. So, for example, uh, what I love about, you know, these hands, where the hands, this, this is a prayer rug, and this particular prayer rug, I, you know, it has a hookah right on the thumb, and it's very important to me. Why would somebody uh, put a hookah there? Uh, it was not a, just a tobacco smoker, or a, 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 but must have been an opium or a hashish user because of how uh, that um, smoking marijuana or opium or hashish uh, expands uh, awareness in people. And to give such a place, uh, such an importance, the hookah is extremely impressive.